Hey everybody, we've got another fun video for you. We're making floral hoops today over here at Greenleaf. And we've got these great hoops. They come in different sizes. We've painted it gold and we've taken some of our rustic wire and we've created a great one. A lot of people ask me, how, how do you get started on these floral hoops? Because most of the product will be glued in here except for our greenery. Um, and this is just the process. This is the way I like to start the floral hoop because it gives me something for the product to cling to and grab to, and then I can create a beautiful design. So come along with me as I create a floral hoop. You can make one too. Thanks for joining in. Again, you can see I'm just working my greenery base in there because I want to have something for some of my delicate flowers to glue to. Italian Ruscus is great for this. And I'm also going to work just a little bit of lemon. And I don't want it to be too flat, so I'm, I'm working in some dimension as I go. As you can see, I've got like, you know, some things sticking out here and there. This is a pretty big hoop, so this would probably be a hoop that I would hang as part of an installation piece. But you could have a much smaller version that would be for a bridesmaid or a flower girl. And I'm just sort of weaving the stems of this foliage in and out through my rustic wire. And that rustic wire creates a great base to start with. And all of these products are really hardy, so they'll hold up out of water. And I'm going to start the process of using some of my Oasis glue. Oasis glue is your best friend if you haven't tried it before. Everywhere that I put that rustic wire, I'm really trying to cover. So I'm actually going to go ahead and do the back side as well so that you really can any of my mechanics. So now when I flip it over into my flowers on the other side, I don't have to worry about how the back is going to look because I've already finished that off. And now is the fun part. I'm going to start adding some flowers. I've got some asters. I've got some pincushion protea. I've got some turtle roses that are great. They're kind of like a garden variety. These come, again, from one of our exclusive farms here at Greenleaf, these turtle roses. And a little bit goes a long way here, so I'm just going to pick out a few things that I'm going to work into my wreath. And I like to use things in Really fives and threes, but sometimes twos are okay and break the rules sometimes. These bombastic spray roses are the bombastic. Um, absolutely beautiful shade of blush, but they also open really pretty as well. I'm gonna work a few of those in there, and a few ranunculus. Ranunculus are great for gluing because they have a nice flat head. So those are gonna glue into this design really easy for me. And because I'm not worried about having a water source, for this design, I'm going to go ahead and cut the heads off of some of the stems that I'm going to be putting into the de design. Because I'm going to be gluing all these in. And I'm going to start with some of my bigger focal flowers first because they're going to take up space. And they're bulky too, so I'm just going to trim down the stem just a little bit. There's really no reason for me to keep some of the stem on there, so I'm just shaving it down. And the nice part of using that rustic wire is it gives me a base to kind of like, if I can find an angle 
I can work my stem right in there and I know that it's gonna set up in there and grip to it and the glue is gonna dry. Just about there, I'm just gluing in the last few flowers. Definitely want to make sure you don't have any glue strands, straight glue strands. Now, if I want to hang this, I can hang it at any angle. If I'm hanging these as a, like a ceremony backdrop, I can hang them from here. I can hang them this way, and I can hang several of them. Or I can make a smaller version and have it be a bridesmaid, what a bridesmaid would carry. So this is how to make a quick and easy floral hoop with your Oasis glue, a hoop, some greenery, and a few flowers that will last for you. Thanks for tuning in. We hope you subscribe to our channel. If you like what you see, like us on Instagram, follow us on Instagram, like us on Facebook, and just follow, follow, follow. We can't wait to do more of these videos with you.